Here's a word problem. This person invested in 2,000 in bonds and CD all together. Since the bonds pays a little bit more than CD and the total interest was $93 for the whole year, um, we want to know how much to invest in each type. Um, this problem actually happens quite often, so what we're going to do is introduce two variables. Let's call one of them a CD and one of them bonds. All together, we have $2,000. It doesn't really matter which one is which. Now, next, next one, you have two variables in the two equations, kind of like in the first name and in the last name to figure out who you are. All right, the next question is, well, each one of them earns different interest, 0 0.05. Now, that's 5%. That gives on to the bonds. We'll put a bonds here. And then 0 0.045, but they don't pay a lot of interest for the CDs. Okay, let's pull that. That's the certificate. That's the one that they require you to put in there a certain time of the certain length in the bank before you can take it out. All right, so now we have two variables, two equations. Theoretically, we should be able to solve them. So the best way to do is we're going to use substitution. That's to literally solve for one variable and every time you see that variable in the second equation you're going to substitute so we're going to substitute every time we see x we're going to have it as a 2000 minus 1 so the second equation becomes a little messier now okay 0 0.05 times x is 2000 minus y plus 0 0.045 times y is equal to $93.75, okay? This is pretty small for $2,000 of investment. Maybe maybe a stock is better. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to distribute it in there. 0 0.05 times 2,000, if you punch on your calculator, you'll see that's equal to 100 minus 0.05y plus 0.045y. Of course, we're going to combine those two. That's together equal to 93.75. Okay, from here, we're going to combine this. We're going to have a negative number. We'll have 0.005y and move the 100 over, which means subtract it. Okay, so subtract it 100 from each side. You have minus 6.25. Divided by 0 0.05, you'll have y is equal to uh, 1250. $1,250. Now remember why it was in the CD. Okay, because CD we have $1,250 and altogether we invested $2,000. So that means in my bond I have $750. Okay, and each type is this much. So looks like CDs and bonds don't give you much interest. Maybe stock is riskier and that's where we should go. Have a confident day.